Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of Science by Mr. Healy. And in today's episode, we'll be looking at working with Sigmatron boards in series circuits. Don't you try this at home. Okay, so what's a Sigmatron board? It's a board that has an internal circuitry that can make, uh, that can facilitate us working with circuits instead of working with uh, alligator wires and banana wires all over the place. We can just work with this box and make things a lot easier, a lot cleaner to look at. So uh, what it looks like is the following. It's a bunch of holes. Some of them are connected with a white line. Some of them are not. There's a gap between them. Uh, we can make closed circuits by connecting these gaps with connectors. Now, what type of connectors do you have? Well, you can have a jumper or you can have a resistor, depending on what kind of circuitry you want to build. So let's look at one. Let's, now, before we start that, just to let you know that you'll be working with a design plan of the circuit board, just so that you can prepare yourself uh, in advance before you start playing with the actual board. Safety first. Now, let's say you wish to create the following simple circuit with a sigma draw board. Now, this is a series circuit. It has a resistor and a power source. Notice the positive and negative, so we'll be working with conventional current. So current will be flowing from the positive side, going through the circuit, passing by the resistor, and onto the negative side. Now, there are many possibilities when it comes to creating uh, the closed circuits, as the uh, with the example that we were looking at right now. Um, let's say if you wanted to, or let's say we put uh, the resistor here, and the jumper there. Well, we just created a closed circuit. As you can see, current electricity will throw from the positive terminal, passing through the jumper, going through the resistor, and back to the negative terminal. So that's one option. Let's look at another option. The other option would be putting the resistor here and the jumper there. And again, you've just created yourself a closed circuit. Positive electricity coming from here and going back to the negative terminal. The third option would be introducing two jumpers. Again, you still have a closed circuit, but in this case, the difference is that you've got two jumpers instead of one. And again, going back to your resistor and to the negative terminal. The fourth and final option is to push it a bit further, putting your still your two jumpers here and a resistor there, and voila, you've created another closed circuit, in this case, a simple series circuit. Uh, this is the final circuit again, but now with the actual Sigmatron board. Since we've already practiced with the design plan, let's try with the board itself. Here's the board. So as an option, again, I'm trying to create that simple series circuit. Let's say we'll put the resistor here, and we'll just create ourselves an, a closed circuit with electricity flowing from the positive side going to the negative side as in conventional current. Second option would be to put it here. Let's say put our jumper there and our resistor, and we've just created, again, a closed circuit with electricity flowing from the positive side going through the jumper, through the resistor, and back to the negative side. The second possibility here, again, another closed circuit with a jumper here and a resistor. The third possibility would be to introduce two jumpers, one here, one there, and finally the resistor, and you've got yourself a closed circuit. And the final possibility, again, with two jumpers, we just went a bit further, and the resistor here, and we have our closed series simple circuit. That's it.